So in the yellow area, we want to lay out our grid tiles. Let's use the grid view widget, which is perfect for this scenario. So it'll create a 2D array, and we'll use the grid view dot builder because this constructor allows us to pass in an item count. So I'll create a grid view dot builder, which will build out our tiles. And here in the grid view builder, we have a grid delegate and an item builder. So the grid delegate is going to help us with our layout and the item builder will build out the widgets that we want. So firstly, let's look at the grid delegate. I'm going to return a sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count. So I'll just type in SL and select here. And by default, the cross axis count will allow us to set how many columns are across. So in this case, we want each column to represent a letter. So I'll put five. We have five letters per word. And in the item builder, let's create that. So here we have a context and also an index. So the index is of type int, and that'll help us track where the user is in the Wordle. So for example, if they've placed one letter or placed two letters and so on. At the moment, let's just return a container and I'll give this the color of red. We need to use the return keyword, hot reload. All right, so now we have containers being returned, but we can't see them because there's no gap between the containers. So let's place some gaps up here. We can use main access spacing and let's put in four. And now we can see that we have gaps and let's do that on the cross axis. Cool, okay, so now it looks like we have some grids. So we can scroll and we can scroll forever. This builder will just continuously build new tiles. So obviously we don't want that in this game, we just want six rows. So to do that, in the grid view builder, we can use item count and set that to 30. So we have six rows of five. And now we can only see 30 tiles on screen. Now let's also apply some padding. So I will come here, I will type padding, and we can use edge insets and from. So here we can specify the amount of padding we want on the left, top, right, and bottom. So on the left, let's put 36. The top, let's put 20. The right, will make that the same as the left and the bottom. And now we have our grid fitting in that area. But you can notice we can scroll that a little bit, which we don't want. So to fix that, we can type physics, a never scrollable scroll physics. And now if I try and scroll it, I can't. Cool. Okay, so we have our grid laid out. Let's also display the index here from the builder. So here in the container, a text, and I can type index to string. We'll turn that int into a string. And now we can see zero to 29. Now let's also center that. Right click, wrap with center. Okay, awesome. So we now have 30 tiles laid out. Okay, next up is I want to put this grid view in its own standalone widget. So to do that, I'll right click, refactor, extract flutter widget, and I'll name this grid. So now we're gonna start creating quite a few files over this project. So let's put in some organization. So I'm gonna go create a new directory and I'll name this components. And that'll hold basically all the widgets that make up our application and some of the widgets that we use multiple times. So here I will create a new Dart file and I'll name this grid and I'll paste in the grid, import the material and back in homepage, I'll import that library. And I'll also create a new directory and I'll name this pages and I'll put in the homepage here and that'll just give us some organization as this project grows. Okay, so now we have the grid, let's go here. And here in our grid, I want to create a border. So in the container, I'll first remove this color because we're gonna use the decoration. And if we leave our color in there, an exception will be thrown. So I will use a box decoration and I'll go border and then border.all. And now if I do a hot reload, great. We can see each tile has a nice border, which is starting to look a little bit closer to how Wordle looks. Okay, so we have now created the grid tiles. In the next video, we'll create the keyboard for Wordle.